You have our reservations, Mr. and Mrs. Howard Camp from Dayton, Ohio. You are Mr. Darling. I am the manager, madam. Darling is the hall porter. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> you see some friends of ours who stopped here last fall said if we wanted tickets for the shows, why, I suppose just anything. Be sure and call for a guy named Darling. They said he was a perfect miracle. Uh, quite, madam. Hey, Alice, we gotta fix about comics for the kids right away. Sure do, Pop. That's right. We ran out of them on the plane. Do you sell kids' comics, Miss Bird? Uh, the hall porter will assist you, sir. Over there, madam. I believe I'll take Anne and Winthrop up to the room right away, Howard. Good idea. Perhaps you will sign the register later, sir. I'll just get a drink. The lift is over there, madam. Gee, ain't you kind of old to work an elevator? That was not polite. Did you say something? Uh, oh, no, lady, I was uh, just passing the time of day with your little offspring. <laughs> <laughs> Come along, kids. There you are, sir. That should give you all the information you want. Thanks so much, old boy. <laughs> darling, darling, have you got our tickets? You know that thriller we asked you to book for, Death in the Lift. Ah, yes, here they are. Now, when you get to the theatre... Yes. Go in. Then proceed to stalls... D. Seats four and five. Is that clear? Yes. And then? During the interval, do not partake of any beverage. Drink not the tea. Why? Might it be poisoned? You never know. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> You're a marvel, isn't he, Aggie? It is wonderful. And the play, is it thrilling? Three murders, one suicide. Mend it. Come along, darling. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, the other darling. I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh, father, my key. Come along, ma'am. Aye, aye, sir. Wait. Are you going along, Tabu? Well. Oh, hi there, Scotty. Come along, look lively. Jump to it, right? Jump to it yourself. Warn the officer of the lift to stand by. The Admiral's going aloft to his quarters. Now, sir, will you eat in your cabin or in the wardroom? In my cabin. Aye, aye, sir. And mind how you go, Admiral. There's a bit of wind coming up. 
I beg your pardon. Mm. Grant it, sir, as soon as asked. Why, Miss Fellows? Oh, darling, could you spare me a moment? A moment? For you, I could spare an hour, a year, a lifetime. Oh, I've come for my prince. Pardon? Prince. Oh, Prince, yes, of course. <laughs> the fact that he's consumed the best part of one of my socks for his luncheon is of no consequence. Oh. <gasps> ah, the little fellow is forgiven, isn't he? <laughs> you little grey barker. For he is yours. And they say, love me, love my dog. Oh, you're incorrigible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must take Prince for his walk or he gets cross. Come along, Princey. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. If you can spare another minute or a year, perhaps a lifetime, could I have my keys? My name's Howard Can. Ah, yeah, yeah, Mr. Can. Yeah. Come right up, sir. Come right up. 274, 275. And the elevator's right across there. All right. Boy, show Mr. Can up to 274 and 275. Now, sir, if there's anything you want, all you gotta do is to ring me on the telephone and I'll be happy to accommodate you all. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks very much. Oh, you're most welcome, sir. <clears throat> and what is your pleasure, sir? Excuse me, I am resident of hotel. I are who? No, no, please forgive me. I am who. Ah, you are who too? Yes, yes. I see family likeness. Excuse please, you tell me. The Buckingham House for traveling people to enter, yes? No, no. Buckingham House is Buckingham Palace. Very private house of Queen. No man go in. Ah, thank you. Much thanks. Oh, thanks. I say, darling. Oh, hello, Miss Dryer. Listen, darling, if Mummy comes round here asking for me or rings up or anything, you haven't seen me, do you understand? Oh, rather, I won't at all, I promise. You <laughs> really are an absolutely divine young man. Oh, rot. Yes, you are. I have a good mind to kiss you. Oh, you mustn't think of doing anything quite so madly foolish, at least not out here. <laughs> well, you can consider yourself kissed. Oh, how absolutely marvellous of you. You really are a splendid girl. Absolutely splendid. Oh, <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, I've had this. Please, I'll put you through. You're through. Oh, dear. Wouldn't it be gorgeous? What? To be there on that beach instead of here. I'll say it would. To lay there all day in the sun and get browned off in peace. You're looking tired, Bill. You need a good holiday. I need a holiday for good, dear, I think. Who doesn't? Royal Connaught Hotel? Miss Stroud, who is inquiring, please? It's Mrs. Stroud asking if Miss Stroud is staying here. Put the old crone on my extension. One moment, please. I'll connect you with the hall porter. You're through. Hello? Hello? Good afternoon, madam. Is that you, darling? Yes. I want to speak to my daughter. No, I'm afraid she's not here. We, she would well, we've, Can yes, you get me with my daughter at once? Well, we've, yes, twice. I we've, can't get a word in right you are. Uh, Thank you so you, much. Goodbye, Goodbye. madam. But she is here in room 63. You eat your sandwiches and mind your own business. Thanks, I will. I wonder what abroad's like. Depends. Whereabouts abroad? The French Riviera. Oh, I told you. Gorgeous. How do you know you've never been? Never been. What are you going to do with yourself this afternoon? Why? It's Wednesday or half day. Oh, I forgot, yes. Why not go to the pictures and see a bit of the Mediterranean in glorious Technicolor? Get it out of your system. No, thanks. I prefer the real thing. No, I think I'll go and have a nap. That's it. Well, I'll see you at tea time. Bye-bye. All right. Royal Connaught Hotel? One moment, please. I'll put you through. <sighs> Mr. Darling? Uh? Are you there, Mr. Darling? Who is it? It's me, Gladys. Oh, come in. There, I woke you up. It's all right. I was having nightmares. But it's every afternoon. Well, daymares, then. There's a man to see you downstairs. A man? Who? He wants to see you private, in the foyer. Better get down there, quick. All right, I'll be right down. You been up to something? No, why? Only the gentleman said it's to do with the law, and I don't like the look of him.
You're through. Where is he? Who? The policeman. It's me. Oh, a plainclothes man. No, no, I'm a solicitor. My name is Purchase. How do you do? Oh, how do you do? May I sit down? Why? Huh? Uh, yes, well, of course. There we are. <laughs> I have here a last will and testament. Oh, I've nothing to leave. I'm very sorry. No, no. It belongs to a lady who resided for some years at the Royal Connaught Hotel. This is Laura Charlotte Barclay Pegg. Oh, oh, Pegg Leg. Oh, how is she? A good lady passed on in Bournemouth last week in her 92nd year. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember her well. I used to take her poodle for a walk. She used to pour out all her troubles on me. I remember one night. Oh, I'm sorry. Please pay attention. Yes. Amongst other legacies, to William Darling, hall porter of the Royal Connaught Hotel, in gratitude for his kindness to me and to my beloved poodle, Lulu, I bequeath the sum of £10,000. So if you'll just let me have the name and address of your bankers, and also... Bill! Bill! Mr. Darling, are you all right? My key, please. 109. Darling. Oh, sorry, darling. I mean, uh, milady, uh, Mrs., uh, Miss, whatever it is. You're very far away today, darling. Where are you? Ah, uh, the south of France. What's the weather like? Oh, gorgeous. Yes, the burning sun is beating down on the hot, deserted sands. The palm trees are swaying in the warm winds. And I'm alone on the deserted beach and listen to the palm trees whispering. I want the Church Times sent up. I want the Church Times... Oh, oh, certainly, so be it, my Lord Bishop, so be it. Well, I still can't believe it. There must be a catch in it somewhere. Now, why should there be? You looked after the old girl, she liked you, and that's all there is to it. After all, she left half a million. When she left here after 15 years, she gave the head waiter half a crown. Still, she was a good soul and kind-hearted. Royal Connaught Hotel. Reception, I have a call for you. I suppose you'll be chucking up your job now. Naturally. I wonder if I'll miss you. What do you mean, miss me? Well, you're coming as well. I'm not, you know. But, Rose, I can give you everything. Clothes and travel and sunshine, everything. We can be in the big time together. You be in the big time. I'm sticking to my job. Thanks all the same. But I don't understand. I'm sorry. I think it's better that way. Oh, wait. All right. If that's how you feel, I'll go on my own. Yes, you go and find a nice French girl. Well, that won't be difficult. You know what all the girls in France are, don't you? What? French. Ah, there you are, darling. Good evening, ladies, and what can I do for you? Your theatre tickets, please. We'd like to see a Shakespeare play this time. On Wednesday, if you could manage it. Something classical. You get the tickets and just put us in a taxi. This charge, good ladies, will I carry out. Swift as a stag, which, seeking to evade the hunter, on some grassy hill, doth match the very wind in his alacrity. Thank you. After all, you've never let us down yet, have you, darling? Hello, darling. Hello, how are you? Fine. Good. Now, can I have my key, please? I'm room... Uh, 504. That's the idea. But I'm 26. What, still, dear? Oh. No telephone calls and no visitors, except a Mr. Bollinger. Oh. Send him up. On ice? If you like. I'll soon thaw him out. I'll say. Mm. You're through. Ah. Well, it won't be long now, will it? It looks dull. Jealous. Mr. Hatchet won't like it. Well, he'll have to put up with it, won't he? You'll have to make absolutely sure of what you're going to say, or else he'll talk you out of it. Come on, we'll have a rehearsal. A good idea. I'll be old Hatchet. Right. Here I come. Come in! Well, well, well. Watch your hat, your boy, house tricks. Well? Darling, what's the meaning of this? Ah, I shall explain. Well, Hatchy, I have come to say goodbye. Come to say goodbye? Mm. Why? Because I'm going. <coughs> now, I will explain. Now, since yesterday, my circumstances have altered. 
Well, you'd we'll better see a doctor, hadn't you? Oh, ho, ho. you will have your little joke, won't you, Hatchie? I'm afraid. Will you kindly explain this masquerade to me? And what are you doing in here in that get-up? Get-up? Ah, not so hasty, Hatchie. Read this, and then we will talk. Will you please stop calling me Hatchie? Certainly, Digby. Ah, oh. well, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I'd better take the day off to celebrate. The what off? The day. <laughs> I want the lot off. You see, Dig, I'm thinking of flying to the south of France. The Côte d'Azur. Or I may even dodge into Monte. I love a flutter on the tables, don't you? No, I don't, and you can't. Can't what? Can't resign. Why not? And I'll show you why not. Why do you suppose you signed this agreement with the company three years ago? But I... I'd forgotten all about this. Oh, well, there you are. Oh, where am I? Tied by a watertight agreement to continue your engagement here as hall porter until such time as the company, in ten years, wish to terminate it. Oh, this is ridiculous. I mean, I didn't... I didn't sign this, did I? Are you sure I didn't forge it? Oh, yes, quite sure. The owners of this hotel were astute enough to realize that your uh, peculiar knack of keeping on the right side of the residence made you a valuable enough servant of the company to warrant your permanent retention here. Well, I'm sorry, Hatchie. But I'm leaving. I really am. You can't. Oh, and why not? They would sue for breach of contract. Oh, they wouldn't dare. Would they? Dare? They take every penny of that 10,000 legacy of yours and a great deal more besides in damages. The dirty capitalists. Yeah, well, that's the law, darling. Now go and take off that ridiculous setup and go back to your desk. Yes, but I mean, I could... You are tied to this hotel and here you stay. Yes, but I mean... Go on. Well, Get out. Well... Oh. Oh, well, you better have this then. They can't do this to me. I'm really worked up now. Well, calm down while I make you a cup of tea. Ten years I've slaved for them. From the men's washroom to the lift to whole porter. And now I can't retire and enjoy myself. Retire at your age? Why not? The trouble is you're indispensable to the running of this hotel. Well, maybe. So what? So stop being... Indispensable? Yes. How can I... Stop? Yes. Yes. I wonder how you'll do it. Yes, now, let me see. I wonder if... Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't. But... Hmm. Perhaps? No, no. No, it's out of the question. It's out of the question. Hmm. I wonder... They're all awake now, poor devils, except the second floor. I'm doing them now. <laughs> Hello? It's five o'clock, Mr. Khan. Five, five o'clock? I said to call me at 8.30. Come on now. Get out of bed, you lazy layabout. Who the hell is this? What do they want? Hello? Hello? Is it? Five o'clock now. Come along, come along. Rise and shine. Who on earth? Is that you, darling? Yes, darling. Now come along out of bed, the pair of you, or I shall come up there and pull you out. <laughs> Who is it? Wakey, wakey, my lord. Five o'clock. Sure gated leg. That's a good boy. Only one more now. And one Crosby. Let me see. Mind your ear this time. What the devil do you mean by ringing the telephone at this hour of the morning? What do you want? Who is it? Is that you, darling? What? Daddy's got ever such a nice mink coat for baby. If baby will lunch with daddy today. Daddy could get off the line and go to... Hmm? Go where? <laughs> oh, you saucy old sea dog. <laughs> well, they're all awake now and all to pot. Right, General. Now for phase two of the operation. Carry on. This cares the world cannot stop. <laughs> I shall await the complaints. And here they are. There. Hello. Yes. Would you care to address your complaint to 
the manager. I certainly would. Uh, you're through. Is that the manager? Well, tell him to manage this hotel properly. Is that the manager? Well, manage this hotel properly. Who the devil do you think you're talking to? I'm talking to you. You're inefficient. Your staff's incompetent and ill-mannered. Your staff's incompetent and ill-mannered. The sooner he pulls himself together, the better. And the sooner you pull yourself together, the better. Operator! Yes? Kindly connect me with the manager at once. The manager, miss? At once. We wish to make a complaint. This is certainly, miss. I'll put you through. Yes? How dare you allow such things to happen in a decent, respectable hotel? I beg your pardon? It's bad enough to ring us up in a state of intoxication at five o'clock in the morning. But to make a suggestion of that nature, over the telephone, we're coming down to see you at once, and we shan't wait to put on our clothes. <laughs> Ruby, just a minute. Why? Give me the tray. What for? You're not working today. And why not? Mr. Darling's orders. Don't tell me I've got the sack. Is it for my singing again? No. Are the hotel guests complaining about my voice? No, they love it. But we don't particularly want them to be happy this morning. Who's we? Me and Mr. Darling. Shall I sing flat then? No, just give me the tray and stop asking questions. By the holy saints, what's going on in this hotel? And on such a morning. Mrs. Lovejoy? Who wants me now? Surprise, surprise. Your husband. I'm what? He's on his way up. Mr. Bollinger. What is it, Myrtle? Mrs. Grub up. That's the style. You're, you're mine, you hear? You're mine. You'll always be mine. Now, coffee, black or white? And oh, here we are. That's the style. Help yourself. Not your turn. It is too. Hey, Mum. What goes on? Yeah, what goes on? Don't ask me. Howard! Howard! Did you call, dear? Morning. I think Darling's had a brainstorm. You know why I receive him my breakfast? Oh, I'm all waiting to see the manager. Why should I be out? Yes, sir, of course. I look into it personally. Uh, right, sir. There's another dozen residents waiting outside. With complaints? With complaints. Oh. Very well, send them in, one by one. London, England, you're giving me the USA. I just can't bear this. Do you think that the luggage is on the car? Welcome, sir. The taxi is waiting and your cases are packed in it. And now, sir, if you'll kindly take a powder. With pleasure. If there are any messages, we've moved to the Ritz. Hey, Mom! You'll be back. Mmm. Oh, sweet. Paul <laughs> <laughs> Porter! Paul Porter! Mikey, come on, man. My luggage. I'm leaving at once. Oh, good show, sir. Good show. And Snotty, warn the pinnace to stand by. The Admiral's going ashore. He's come all over seasick. Ha-ha. <laughs> <sighs> there can't be many left now. I haven't had a call on here for two hours. Hatchard can't hold up much longer. But Miss Trott and Miss Pickles haven't left yet. They will. Why? I've sent them to the theatre. <laughs> what you doing, ducks? Reminiscing. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, darling. You win. Win, sir? But why have you torn up my contract? Because you're fired. Fired, sir? Yes, I don't know what's got into you. It wasn't my fault, sir. You see, they, they told me to do it. 
They? Yes. Oh, what are you talking about? Who's they? My voices. You see, the little people, they're my friends. And they talk to me. Yeah, but they're, it, they're calling me now. Oh, I can't hear anything. Nor can I. Ah, yes. There they are. Those dear little voices ringing through the barrier of time. <laughs> ah, they're everywhere. Oh, are they? Yes. Listen, you can hear them. I should turn on tiptoe if I were you. Uh, mm. Yes, I can hear them faintly. Faintly? I'm absolutely deafened. Yeah, well, now, look, may I suggest you go and get your things packed and then you can leave just when you like. That's good. Chat, wait. I must ask them. Yes. 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 They said yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, they say, leave this place, William Darling, for thy work is done. Yes, uh, that's the idea. Yes. Yes. They're talking again. Well, what do they want now? Give them a chance. Oh, oh yes. They want this. Pardon me. Get out and stay out. <laughs> Dear. Ah, yes. Certainement, madame. Comme d'habitude, mais oui. Mais quoi <rire> Oh, que c'est drôle, écoutez. Non, mais... Quoi Oh, non. Oh, non. Oh, non, pas de ça, madame, non. <rire> ah, bon, madame. Bien. Entendu. <rire> Au revoir, madame. Monsieur. Oh, yes. Um, have you any post for me, please uh, Post Post. Oh, post. <rire> I believe uh, it's a postcard, monsieur. Thank you. Dear Bill, everything is fine here, except that it's raining. How's your sleepy lagoon? 
Have you met any French girls yet? Love, Rose. Have I met any French girls yet? Give us a chance. Can I get you anything, monsieur? Yes, a, a card. A card? Card? A postcard. <laughs> of course. Here it is. Thank you. And the pen. Merci. Vous en prie. Dear Rose, having a smashing time. Dining tate a tate tonight with a lovely creature who finds me irresistible. So there, love, Bill. There. Could you post that for me, please? Certainly, monsieur. You will let me know if there is anything that I can arrange for you. I shall let you know post haste. Haste. <laughs> Uh, your bill. Am I? Uh, oh, yes, Bill. Uh, I must have been drunk last night. Oh, monsieur. I shouldn't have bought this place otherwise. But you did not buy the place, monsieur. The bill was for your evening's entertainment. What, one evening? What, all this? You've gone besark with the Nords. Look at this. It's, well, this is ridiculous. I'm not paying that. Not one sou. Air Force? <clears throat> I wouldn't. Well, where is it? Well, oh, here you are. Merci, monsieur. Et, et le pourboire, monsieur. What do you want, blood? What am I saying? There you are. Merry Christmas. Merci, monsieur. Uh. Entendu, tout de suite. Vol en vitesse 604. Victor, 302. Oui. Monsieur requires some assistance. Huh? Monsieur is maybe seeking some further amusement. No thanks, no. We can arrange a charabant trip to Monte Carlo, tennis, golf. Monsieur is a golf player. Monsieur is a hall porter, or at least was. 
Oh, yes. Yes, London, Royal Connaught Hotel. Oh, I hear of the Royal Connaught, a fine hotel. So you and I are, how you say, brothers under the counter. We. Oui. Are you happy in your work? <laughs> but certainly. <laughs> mm, so was I, till I came into money and gave it up. Possibly, monsieur, is disillusioned by the life of leisure and uh, yearning for his uniform again. Certainly not. Monsieur just finds the place excruciatingly dull, that's all. Nothing to do here at all, nothing. I say, Louis, did you manage to fix the launch for this afternoon? Yes, sir, it is arranged. It will be at the landing stage at three o'clock with your skis. Thank you so much. Come on, darling. Skis? Well, it's not snowing, is it? <laughs> Water skis. Oh. Most exhilarating. You try? I try. <laughs> jolly games can you suggest? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Um, underwater swimming and fishing is very popular here. Is it? Oh, yes, monsieur. Very popular. You try? I try. Any nice indoor games with no suffering attached? There is the casino, monsieur, if you are still looking for a thrill. Any girls? Roulette, monsieur. <laughs> you try? I try. Say, old man, you're in the chips. Yes, I'd rather have the other kind, with vinegar. Well, I don't sit for the old country. I'll say. How long have you been out here? Oh, five months. It's dead easy if you're lucky at roulette. I've just run through my third child's currency allowance for the year. Have you? When we've used up our daily helps as well, the wife and I are going to wash dishes. We must have our fortnight on the Riviera every year. The only thing that makes life stiff living? Have this lot, and have the Riviera as well. I'm going back to dear old London tomorrow, and I hope it's raining. Sid, what's happened? But the place is closed. I'm here as caretaker for the time being. It's up for sale. I don't believe it. It's so fair. You oughtn't to be in here, you know. I mean, this is ground property. I'm as much right as you have. Oh, no, you haven't. I mean, there's going to be government offices. Government offices? Sir, how do you know? Sir. See them two blokes over there? <coughs> They're from the Ministry of Health. They're here to negotiate a settlement. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you, you oughtn't to be here. I mean, you'll get me into trouble. Listen, what happened to Rose? Rose? Oh, she got the push weeks ago. Did she? Yes, I see her the other day around the corner at the tea shop. Yeah, she's working at a photographer's. A photographer's? Cut a lift place. Okay, thanks, Sid. I'll be seeing you. Well, I can't get a model at ten minutes' notice, now can I? Oh, heaven knows what Mr. Flick will say. He's coming all the way up from Sudbury and... What's that? Goodbye. Oh, 
Bruce. Only a couple of hours ago. But, darling, what's happened to the old pub? Oh, it's a sad story. Why, what happened? Well, soon after you left, and most of the residents, too, we all got our cards. But because of the mess I made, do you mean? Oh, indirectly, I suppose. You see, you were indispensable. The place just emptied and went bust. Oh, dear. We've all had a pretty thin time, Bill. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, after what happened at the Royal Connaught, none of the other London hotels would employ us. So I took this job. But why didn't you let me know? Oh, I didn't want to spoil your holiday when you were having such a wonderful time. Wonderful time? Huh. What? Oh, it was lousy. But you said in your postcards. I know I did. Why? Well, I mean, I, you know. Anyhow, the thing is this. I must get back into uniform. I must get back into a hotel. That's my métier. Your what? Métier. It's, uh, it was something I picked up in France. It's all I did pick up, too. Well, anyhow, what's he like? Who? Not him. He's a her. No, you know, Mr. What's-his-name, the man who runs it. Oh, very excitable and very vague. Is he? Oh, he'll be here in a minute and then he'll create. Why? Well, you see, he leaves all the office work to me. We do commercial photography here, you know, adverts and all that. Well, I make the appointments engage the models, mm -hmm. and he just blows in, photographs them, and then blows out again. And he'll wind. <laughs> Mm. We're supposed to be doing a new shaving cream this morning, but I can't get a face. But, darling, you've got a lovely face. No, the models. Oh. Well, Mr. Flick's coming all the way from Sudbury, and none of the agencies... Shh, here he comes. Now for the fireworks. Well, come along, come along, to work, to work! Ah, how do you do? Yes, I can see you're the model for before. Where's the one for after? Mmm, a wit. A what? No, a wit. Mm, yes. If you'll kindly let me know when you're ready, Miss Blake. Come on now, we haven't got all day. Mr. Flick, I cannot you? hear a word that you are saying. Will you speak up, girl? I said I have Come along, for goodness sake. Pose the gentleman and let's be rid of him. Oh, these gruesome commercial sessions. The model's only just arrived. Well, is that my fault? Make haste. Bill, please help me or I'll get the sack. Take a coat off, please. Now, what is today's product? Get the props ready. What's the product? Come along, come along. Casey's shaving cream. Everything's Very ready. Very well. Prepare the model. Come on, come on. No, no, you. <sighs> on the throne. No crown? Now then, let's have it on nice and thick. Make it gorgeously creamy. They're such fiends, these soap kings, you know. Now, while I check through yesterday's proofs, you finish him off. Let me finish him off. No, Bill! Oh. Uh, no wonder they call me Joe Soap. But, Bill, if you miss the old hotel life so much, why not start one of your own? Yes, I will. What with? Oh, don't tell me you've spent all the ten thousand pounds. Ten thousand pounds? By goodness, that's a wonderful idea. That's wonderful. Why didn't I think of that? Ha ha! That's it. That's it. Now, that's it. There we are. Now, we'll go right round to the solicitor. But, Bill, you can't. You're the face. I'll be sacked. It doesn't matter. Not now. Come on. What the... What's happening? Where are you going, Miss Blake? Please, please, please. We must have quiet, mustn't we? Mush. Now, listen, you are going to need a new secretary and a new face. Oh, definitely. Mm. But, Bill, Come what? On. There's nothing to stop you acquiring the premises if you want to. Isn't there? No, it's just a matter of outbidding the Ministry of Health for the lease. Oh, that's all. How much? Well, I gather they're offering 8,000. Are they? You'll have to better them and find enough capital to operate with. Oh, dear. I hate operations. Well, haven't you any rich clients who would put up some more money and back us? As a matter of fact, I have a little syndicate up north. Have you? Yes. Good. They're interested in backing hotels. Three of them. Hardcastle, May and Go Lightly. Oh, dear. Never mind, as long as they're rich. Good, solid businessmen, all three. I'll get in touch with them for you. That's right. See what you can touch them for. The best thing would be to get the place open and running and then invite the three of them down south to spend a weekend at the hotel. Try it as an investment. Bill, you're in business. Just think you're going to own a hotel and run it yourself. A hotel? Myself? No, no, with a staff, of course. What staff? Well, that's easy. We'll try and round up the old gang. What old Hatchard? Not him. You'll be manager now. Yes. Oh, yes. And you'll get in touch with those businessmen from the north. Certainly. Now, look, supposing your offer is accepted, how soon can you reopen? 
in two shakes of a chambermaid's duster. Ha ha! <gasps> This is our big chance. Any questions? Yes. Is this on the level? It wouldn't be one of your little larks, Bill, eh? Of course it's not. Bill's all right. He wouldn't make a fool of us, would you, Bill? Of course it's on the level. We ought to be grateful to Mr. Darling for his generosity, or we'd still be out of work. Who put us out of a job in the first place? Listen, Davy Crockett, go and clean your buttons. And put some soap in the gentleman's cloakroom. Okay. You can rely on me. What do you say, Sue? Well, I vote we all have a go, for old times' sake. Yes, yes. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. And so say all of us. Three cheers for Mr. Darling. Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> well, we're in business. Purchase here. Good morning, Mr. Purchase. We're all ready for them. In an hour's time, right. Are we what? I said I hope you're nice and full. Full? Oh, Lord! I'd better call you back. We're in terrible trouble. Why? What's up? The backers are expected at any moment, and we've forgotten something important. What? We haven't any residence. No residence? It's awful, isn't it? Oh. That's something we can't buy. We've only got an hour. What can we do? Now, let me think. Let me think. Now, let me think. I must think. That's it. That's it. Now, look. Here's my last 50 quid. If this doesn't work, we've had it. Now, don't be long, for goodness sake. Where am I going? Shopping. What for? Oh, now, look, listen. The hotel is well situated in a busy and fashionable quarter of London. Well, there you are, gentlemen. A very good investment, you must admit. Sounds interesting. Aye. Might be. Why move we go and have a look at the place? Aye, that's right. It's all arranged. I've reserved rooms for you for the weekend. I suggest you go along and check in now. You'll find it a jolly place. Congenial, good food, excellent service, and a very nice type of clientele. Right. Come on, lads. We'll have a look anyway. <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon? Good afternoon, Duchess. Your suite's all ready for you. Uh, very well, girl. Uh, kindly have our impedimenta sent up. Certainly, Your Grace. Ah, what a delightful star. Oh, delicious. Oh, yes. Uh, this is quite the nicest hotel in London, Paris, or New York. Oh, Moscow. Oh, quite. Yes. Uh, come, Jeremy. Mm. Now, gentlemen, the hotel is very full just now. Have you reservations? Hey, we'd better have, seeing as how we might be putting money into this dump. 
Oh, then you must be Mr. Hardcastle. I'm Mr. Hardcastle. Go lightly. Uh, May. Uh, Mr. Purchase has arranged your accommodation. If you would be so good as to sign the register, the hall porter will be down shortly. Hey, uh, what's a duchess doing in a public hotel like this? The Duchess of Pulborough is one of our oldest clients. Oh, Duchess of Pulborough. Sid, stop the lift. We're between two floors. I know, stop it. What for? We've got to get changed. Now, look, your stuff's in the big case, my stuff's in the small case. Why? Because those three taps will want to go to their rooms now. Come on. We'd like to see our rooms now, wouldn't we, lads? Inspect the property, like. Aye. Yes, of course. The lift will be down in a moment. Never mind the lift. We'll take the stairs. Oh, no, you must take the lift. Dear. Give us a kiss, no. We haven't bought the place yet. Behave yourself. Oh, well, you've got to brace it. While you're waiting for the lift, how about trying our cocktail bar? It's just through there. Oh, I could do with the wet. Oh, I think. All right, lads. It'll be on the house. Yes, of course. Come on, let's have a drink. Hey, wait a minute. I think we'd better go upstairs and see if our bags are safe first. I thought that page was a bit too nippy with them. If that page was good enough for a duchess, it's good enough for you. I don't agree. Now, don't argue. The young lady said it was on the house. I've been caught that way before. Oh. Here. Wait a minute. Did you say uh, drinks on the house, though? Drinks, yes. I warned you. Business before pleasure. Ah, uh, fun can come later. You keep to business. Oh, it's a very nice business. Hello? They're just going into the cocktail bar. You know what to do. Leave it to us. Girls! Girls! Leave your bedrooms now. Take up your positions in the cocktail bar. Go in the back way and hurry. Oh, dear. Well, that's about right. Huh? Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. Right, come back to the first floor. Right. Ah, and what about Manchester last year at right. Bellevue? All that trouble with the waitress in the monkey house. Why, even the animals was outraged. I was properly ashamed. I really was. I was properly ashamed. Okay, ground floor. Right. Turn with my bags. I love that place. The lift is at your service. Gentlemen, the lift's here now, if you want to go out and see your rooms. He's quieter with a drink inside him. Hey, he's not going to have a drink. I'm more concerned with my bags. I don't realise, you. He can pass one off. Quick, Fred, they're coming in here. Pours a cocktail each. We'll not drink them. OK. It's only actions for breach of promise. It's actions for maternity. It's no good. All right, All right, and we can have a look at the chambermaids. Ah, gentlemen, welcome to our hotel. Who's he? This is our manager. He's a darling. I mean, this is Mr. Darling, our manager. I trust you'll be comfortable, gentlemen. Your rooms, three O's, one, two, and three. Would you care to ascend? <clears throat> Girls, I'm sorry. Upstairs again. They're not coming in here yet. Get back to the bedrooms in case they ring for you. Why can't they make up their minds? Don't ask me. Third floor, gentlemen. Your rooms are 301, 302, 303. Really, Millicent, Mummy will be frightfully cross if you refuse to lunch with the Marquis. After all, he's reasonably civilized and filthy with money and filthy without it. Well, all right, Mummy, if you say so. That's right, dear. There you are, Herbert. I warned you this place was posh. Aye, lucky we brought the old soup and fish. We'll have to talk ourselves up for the evening meal. <laughs> I'll have help in at that, Mima. Now well, then, Casanova. That's yours. Herbert, which one do you want? I'm easy. Three or three will do me. I expect they're all the same size. Right, I hope we get ourselves cleaned up. Aye. Mine's locked. Mine too. Where's Chambermaid? Aye. Just come in, gentlemen. We always keep the rooms locked, you see, in case of burglars. There's so many wealthy residents. But there you are, sir. Now you, sir. We're all right for a moment while they're in their rooms. Oh, they'll be down soon enough, don't you worry. I wonder if they'll go into the bar before lunch or straight into the dining room. Oh, that's it, that's it. We can't possibly fill both. We haven't enough bodies. Bodies? I wonder if the mortuary... 
Now that's no good, no. Look, we must fill the foyer. They'll expect it full at lunchtime. We'll manage as long as they stick together, but once they separate... Don't! Oh, don't even suggest it. Now, as soon as they come in, start chattering and eat and enjoy it. Eat what? Bread. That's all there is. The kitchen staff are on duty elsewhere. Now, you've only to keep it up for a few minutes, just while they come down in the lift, cross the foyer and into the dining room. Then rally over by the desk for further orders. Now, we'll have one more rehearsal. All right, George, give out the hat. Right, come on, come on. Here we go. There you go. That'll do you. Now, don't forget, it's coat on and first hat, coat off and second hat. Coat on and third hat. Okay, into position. Okay, let's have a rehearsal. Right, go, come on. Oh, that's it, that's it. Don't wear yourselves out. Save for later. Now, what else? They're ringing the bells upstairs. They want a valley, a waiter, and a chambermaid. Quickly. All right, all right. I'll see to it. You sit down. I'll see to it. Come in. Uh, you rang, sir? No. Give these trousers a press. There's a good lad. Certainly, sir, in one tick. <laughs> Come in. Yes, sir? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> have run for a waiter, monsieur. Ah, bring me a gin and tonic, a large one. Certainly, monsieur, with pleasure. And step on it. Oh, I go, monsieur, I scatter. <laughs> Sam? Herbert? Coming. It's lunchtime. Ah, it's just gone one. I'm hungry. Come on. the kitchen and tell Cyril to mash the spuds. Now look sharp. Okay, chef. Here's my butter. I believe you better buy No, you don't. I'll fetch them myself. Now keep calm. Keep calm. Here they come. Get ready, everyone. Here we are, gentlemen. Ground floor. Gentlemen, luncheon is now being served. May I escort you? Aye, how about a bite to eat, lads? Well, I wouldn't say no, Miss Elf. How about having a nice drink in the bar first? Ah, let's have a quick No, no! No, oh, I hope we have something to eat. Good. Yes, uh, make up your minds. <laughs> yes, madam. I think we can just manage to squeeze you in. Admiral who? Admiral Sir William Gale. Yes, sir, your suite is confirmed for the 16th. Busy, eh? Simply rushed off our feet, sir. Ah. Well, I fancy a nice big drink. Well, I fancy a nice big feed, Miss Elf. Me too. Right, you two lads go and feed your faces. I'll join you later. Right. Here, where'd you say this bar was? Bar? What bar? Oh, yes, the bar. Yes, uh, one moment, excuse me. I'll trap in in the club. You get the bar filled up. But this is not drink. With people. <laughs> now, you'd like a wash, wouldn't you, sir? Eh? Wash your hands. No, your no, I wouldn't. I'd yes, wash your hands. I knew you would. Well, well, what's up with you? There we are. Clean that, Jenna. Clean. Now. <laughs> Uh, your table 
gentlemen. Where's Go Lightly? Locked in the loo. Well, you can let him out now because they're ready in the bar. All right. Come on, Fred. 37 champagne cocktails and make it snappy. Oh, there you are, sir. <laughs> I must get this clock repaired. I'm so sorry. You better, Rad. Uh, the cocktail bar. This way, sir. Thank you. They're coming. Come on, look. Get drinking, everybody. Go on, dead. No, yes, yeah, right. me too. I've seen him before somewhere. Well, I'm going to get up there. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to get up there. Yes, yes. 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 That's what I call a first-rate spread. Aye, smashing group here. I'm glad you enjoyed it, gentlemen. Do you know what I'm going to do now, what's that? Find a nice, comfortable chair in the lounge and have a bit of shut-eye. Uh, suits me. Uh, just uh, one moment, gentlemen. I, I, I won't keep you. As he ought to. Very well. Now what? They are coming in here for a sleep. Well, store them while I fill up in here. I'll try. Fill up? Who is? We mustn't empty the bar yet. Have a cigar. Ah. Here you are, sir. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so terribly sorry, sir. Nice crowd in the bar. And in here, too. That's what I like to see. Proper gold mine, this place, I reckon. Bring us some grub, then. Uh, just coming, sir. Well, enjoy your lunch, Stamp. <laughs> We're going into the lounge to have a nap. <laughs> I'll have the same as them. Double uh, portion. Yes, sir. Oh, and like that. Yes, sir. Here you are, sir. Bill! Go like he's in the dining room now, and the other two are just coming out. Right. Get all those in the bar out here, quick. OK, everyone out in the... What on earth happened? I tried to stop them, but they would keep ordering doubles. Said they needed them to steady their nerves. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Is these uh, four matches, sir? Look out. Now then, assume an air. <coughs> Would you care for a gas pump? Thanks ever so. Not at all. Yeah. Ah, there we are, gentlemen. Everything, I hope, is satisfactory. <laughs> ah, it's a nice place you've got here. What do you say, Abbott? Ah, nice and cheerful. Plenty going on. <laughs> yes, you're right, plenty. <laughs> there we are. May I help you? Yeah. Most welcome. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I have an idea. I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> That's me too. Ah. Ah. Well, I hope this doesn't stop me dropping off. It won't. Pleasant dreams. Come on, snap out of it. Come on. It's like the Battle of Waterloo. Come on. Oh, dear. Come on. Pull yourself together, you've been out for three hours. Come on, soap her up! Come on! If we can only manage to get through the evening. They're out on their feet already. Who? The three graces? No, our staff. They're either exhausted or drunk. Oh, those wretched little men. I bet they come down fresh as paint after they've had their sleep. Well, we've got to keep entertaining them till we drop. Yes, I know. Still, the dinner dance ought to convince them, if only we can manage to survive it. Hello? Oh, yes, Mr. Hardcastle. Will you send up a nice pot of tea, love? Certainly, I'll have it sent up. They want their tea sent up. 
Tea stiffened the crows. What time do the fun and games start? Any minute now, Mr. Hardcastle. Lovely. <laughs> Better warn everyone to stand by. Now! Now, love, your big chance. Get up there and sing. Me? Sing in public? Why not? Have a go. Oh, I couldn't. Where's your Irish spirit? Well, if it'll help the hotel at all, I'll do me best. Ah, gentlemen, a smooth landing, I trust. Uh, will you escort them to the ballroom? This way, please, gentlemen. Uh, turned out nice again. <laughs> Glass of champagne, Duchess. Oh, no, I never touch it. Only at launching. Just a talk, Duchess. No, no. You must. No, no. Now do. No, no. All right, then. <laughs> well, if you insist. Thank you. <laughs> mm. There. <laughs> now, you tell me. How much are you putting in? Pardon? For the money. We've not said we're going into the business. Aye. Aye. Oh, whimsical, whimsical. Is it a cast iron proposition? My dear. I'm the senior partner. <coughs> My dear. Hardcastle's the name. Ah, all that filthy money. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's oh, the matter? Oh, I'm going. Oh, I know I'm going. Where? Uh, where do you suggest? Oh, you must have some fresh air. You're pallid. Pardon? Pallet? Oh, pallet, yes. Well, <laughs> may I? No, thank you. I'll be right. Oh, dear. Don't worry. I shall be... Come on, Ruby. Give us another. They call him Pancho Rodriguez O'Malley. Ever since he spent a holiday in Spain He's not Patrick anymore now He calls himself Senor And he's got the tango in his veins When he romances the girls in the valley With guitar he sings them Spanish serenades Though an Irish jig's all right Every village dancing night By request he has the tango play O'Malley's tango 
Force yourself. <laughs> there. That didn't take much forcing, did it? Now, this hotel. You wouldn't miss the opportunity of investing in such a gold mine, would you? Would you? Would you? What's your first name, love? Lobelia. Oh, for short. Poppy. Poppy. I've got a crush on you. Now, my me goggles. But don't tell the others, Poppy. I wasn't wearing this at lunchtime, was I? Now, if the Duke hears of this, never mind the Duke. I want us to be partners. Partners in what? Come and dance with me. Dance? You must be mad in your condition. What's the matter with my condition? Nothing, except you're drunk. I am drunk, all right. Drunk with your beauty and your grace. I've got plans for us. Plans for this hotel. You hot-blooded fool, you. Spitfire, eh? If his grace knew about this, he'd run you through and cast you in the moat. Never mind the grace. Kiss me. How dare you? The wine has inflamed you beyond reason. Come and dance with me. Categorically, no. All right. Well, I'll dance with you on one condition. Talk about the hotel and be sensible. Now, come on. Search me. It must be the notice outside. What notice? What, Mr. Darling, rigged up with the electricians? <laughs> There you are. Promise me now that tomorrow you'll phone your solicitor and arrange that contract. Anything for you, Lavinia? Oh, now, now. I'm only a slip of a thing. Here, <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, why are you that interested in the property anyway? Well, you see, I'm the mother of the present owner, and I want you and him to be partners. <laughs> <laughs> we shall, Duchess, we shall. Yeah. With our brass and your background, eh? <laughs> now, leave my background alone. <laughs> Have you finished revving up? <laughs> It's a nice proposition, what aye, you say. Aye. It's a deal. For a Connaught Hotel? Certainly, madam. 
Two singles for the 14th and 20th. You'll write and confirm, will you? Thank you. Royal Connaught Hotel? Miss who? Oh, Miss Trot. Yes, certainly, Miss Trot. Your old room and Miss Pickles, too. Right you are. You know we're under new management, don't you? Yes, that's right. Goodbye. Oh, Bill, I can't believe it. It's quite extraordinary. I've been flooded with calls. I wonder why. I can tell you why. Because we have the best run hotel in London and the most remarkable staff in the world. Come and look. Well, there's only one thing to do now. What's that? Get a new manager. Don't you like being manager? Mm -mm, no, it's not me. I like more contact with people. Well, we'll get a new manager tomorrow. Good. <laughs> <sighs> Well, well, Miss Gray, I didn't expect to see you here. Nor are you. Yes, the new company offered me the engagement through their solicitors at a slightly increased figure. I saw no reason to refuse. Well, the same thing happened to me. I wonder who the new owners are. It's very mysterious. Oh, we'll soon find out. Now, come along. Let's go to work. The books are bound to be in a mess by now. Come in. Ah, Miss Blake. Well, I'm glad to see they've had the good sense to take you on again. The, um, new proprietor is in the building. He wishes to see you. Would you come this way, please? Mm. Mr. Hatchard, mm? the proprietor. Ah, there you are, Hatchard. Now, this is just to say that in future, I shall inspect the books on Wednesdays instead of Thursdays. Is that all right? Yes. Yes what? Yes, sir. Hmm, that's better. Well, you run along now, run along. Oh, and uh, do your managing nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I, um, we... Hmm? That's to say... You tell him, Caroline. We're on our honeymoon, darling. Oh! And we want the bridal suite for the weekend. Well, I can let you have a nice double room, dear, but the bridal suite is occupied, isn't it, my darling? Mm -hmm. And why not? It's all right. Mm -hmm.